This is the Faroe Islands, and honestly to me it feels like the world's best kept secret. For a landscape hunter and photographer, this countryside makes for some incredible frames. I've spent the last week exploring this region in December, and as you can see, it's like I have the whole country all to myself. The solitude in this area is unlike anything I've experienced before, and that was the draw card for coming here. An escape, a reset. We continuously get so consumed by technology running our lives that sometimes our 21st century mindset just craves a little bit of nature, taking us back to the roots of our ancestors and encouraging thoughts of gratitude knowing that we're a guest on this earth and we deserve to experience it all. The sheer landscapes here just form the question of the natural events that occurred to create such a dramatic landscape right in the middle of Norway and Iceland. These volcanic mountains here are so spectacular, and the Faroe Islands is comprised of 18 islands in total, and you can see why it's a hikers, bird watchers, and photographers playground. Although it only takes approximately an hour from Vega, one of the settled southern islands, to get to the northmost settled island, you can explore here for days on end, waiting out on top of a mountain for the best light to form. The self-governing country of Faroe Islands is home to approximately 50,000 residents. However, there's said to be more sheep than people here. Everywhere you look, you can usually spot some grazing on the grass. Bearing in mind, they're probably more street smart than you think, so you don't need to be too worried when you're driving around the winding, beautiful roads here. The peak season here in the Faroe Islands is typically from spring through to the end of summer. The green, rolling, lush hills is certainly a picturesque view that we all crave. Throughout my time here in December, I've had to plan my days and activities wisely, as there's only about five hours of daylight per day. I'm so blessed and honoured to have had the ability to stare at this landscape, and I hope someday to come back. I strongly encourage everyone to visit here, especially if you're not a huge fan of the crowds that congregate at places like Iceland. Faroe Islands, thanks for having me. To see some of my additional photos that I took here, head over to my Instagram page.